Hi green lovers, I am sitting here next to what's left of my Jerusalem artichoke that I grew earlier this year. Now I live in zone 9b Northern California and this typically doesn't grow well above zone 8. It likes a little bit of a cooler climate but I'm growing it anyway and I just wanted to see how it does. I picked up some uh, tubers from the grocery store last year. I planted them. Uh, they grew okay. Uh, they actually grew pretty tall and uh, they were subject to all kinds of rodents and things like that that kept nibbling at them and breaking off stems, the squirrels and voles and stuff. But I was about to pull them out thinking that I won't have anything and I actually saw some tubers. So let's take a look and see what I've got growing in this Jerusalem artichoke pod. Now the reason I'm growing it in a pot is because they're supposed to be super invasive and they just spread and they'll take over any portion of the yard that you put them in. So I didn't want to take any chances so I put them in here and uh, they seem to be doing okay. Another thing to know about the Jerusalem artichoke is that it is neither from Jerusalem nor is it an artichoke. It is however related to the artichoke and also to the sunflower and all daisies. It's in the family called Asteraceae and it produces these beautiful gorgeous yellow blooms in summer. However, it didn't produce any blooms for me and again, I had a lot of problems growing it this year. So I really hope I do have a good harvest. It tastes, from what I understand, kind of like jicama. So I've never tasted it before, so I'm going to do that as well. Apparently it can be prepared just like a potato, so you can bake it, you can roast it, you can mash it. There is something about it as well that uh, for some people it gives you a little bit of gas. So I don't know whether that person is me or anyone from my family. I guess we're going to find out. But let's go ahead and harvest some Jerusalem artichoke. Let's actually do a quick rewind to April 2021 because I was looking at my notes and I observed that I had actually planted these first in January of 2021. So it's been practically two years since I planted these but because my harvest was so pathetic that year I just didn't even want to take any footage. I kind of gave up on it. But then it looks like there were a few tubers that remained in the pot and they grew up again the following year and that's what we're going to be harvesting today. It's April 3rd, 2021, and this is my Jerusalem artichoke. Look how beautifully it has grown. I believe I planted the chokes in January or so, and they have really taken off. It's early spring, and I am going to be transplanting them to their final destination, which is a large pot. This is the pot into which I'm going to be planting my Jerusalem artichoke. You can see it's a fairly large pot. By contrast, I've got a half whiskey barrel next to it so you can see exactly how big it is and um, these uh, Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes tend to be pretty invasive so you want to get them contained if you want to keep them from spreading around in your garden. So I've taken it out of the pot and you can see that it has developed quite a root system that started to go round and round. It's getting root bound so I'm glad I'm transferring it to this bigger pot. So this is what the tubers look like. Might be my imagination, but it feels like they are already growing in size. So let's go ahead and pot them up. All right, I am all done. I had nine plants all together. They're all potted up. This is what it looks like. And let's see how they continue to grow. I'm probably going to need to move them to the shade. I don't believe they like really hot sun. And this place can get really hot uh, during the middle of the day. It's still spring, so... Maybe in a month or so, I'll move it off to a shadier part of the garden. Fortunately, I've got a lot of shade because as you can see, lots of oak trees. So let's see how this does. Now, I grew these last year and when I dug them up at the beginning of the year, I found some very small little uh, roots that were just not even big enough to eat. So I threw a few of them back and they have grown up again. So if you're looking for some sustainable crops that come back year over year and add some volume to your diet, just in case of that food shortage that might happen, you know, this is a really good choice to grow. So I'm really hoping that this does well for me. Quick video of my Jerusalem artichoke. This all grew from volunteers pieces that I'd left in the spot at the end of the year last year. And I didn't have very big plants last year. In fact, they were pretty pathetic. 
But look at them this year. They have grown really tall, at least a couple of them. That one is probably around 10 feet tall and the one next to it is just a little bit behind. And there's quite a few shorter plants growing here. Now they were attacked by rodents and so they broke away a lot of them, but still this is quite a good number of plants growing out of this pot. So I'm hoping for a good harvest this year. Well, folks, it is the 17th of October and uh, getting pretty cold where I am. 49 degrees in the morning. Yes, I know that that is not cold, but for California it is. We're wimps, what can I say? And I am looking here at my poor little Jerusalem artichoke. It's done for. The squirrels have been coming and breaking off those tall 10, 12 foot stalks and overall the plant is done for the season. So I'm going to dig it up today and see what I find inside. Okay, so first let's start off by pulling out this big guy right here. Oh, it looks like I'm going to need some help. So first off, I know that I do have some to harvest because I pulled this out and I actually saw that. So I know there's something in there, but let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit and then we will dig in and see what we've got. Okay, let's cut off some of these long stems. I'll leave a little bit so I can yank them out. So first off, here's what this looks like. I'll put that down just a second here. Let's pull this out. Ooh, it's nice and tight in there. Let's use some strength to get it out. Quite a bit of harvest here, as you can see. Start collecting it. Ah, that's quite a bit. This one is already starting to grow, so I'll probably just plant this back after I'm done. Okay. So I've harvested quite a bit of Jerusalem artichoke. Look at that. That's a decent harvest. I'm going to put these growing shoots back in the ground. So I'm going to break these off. And uh, let me go clean this up a little bit and I'll show you what we've got. Okay, so a nice little harvest, folks. And I'm going to be putting these back, just the stems that I cut away. Had a few tubers left, so I'm going to put those back in this pot. I've got maybe three or four of these. Some of them, as I said, have already started to grow. So I'm going to take a cue from that and plant them back in the soil. I'm going to come back here and cover this with some compost and it should be good to go for next season. And don't be afraid to try something new, folks. You might be surprised. I would normally have never eaten Jerusalem artichoke. I don't know what to do with it, but I'm going to find out. Are there any fruits or vegetables that you have been afraid to try, but when you grew them in your garden, you were surprised at how much you liked them? Well, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, live green and love your greens. This is pretty good.